So, finally got round to making the first video on Alchemy Stars. I actually wanted to start earlier, do like a gameplay through, start from the beginning. Uh, this game's actually been fun. I've been enjoying it, strangely enough. Um, I even deleted a lot of other games just to play this game. I like the colour combination thing they got going on with the towels. I quite like that. It's a mixture of different elements of stuff and it's actually been it's been really fun playing with it i am on the last boss i think of this of the game and it's where the grind really begins because now i'm having to train up some of the units that i've got just to make sure that they are ready to overkill now i obviously didn't start from day one but I think I started about a month after the game and there'd been some issues with copyright and stuff like that. So I'm just going to be using my voice. Probably put some soundtrack in the background that's not from the game. But right now I'm just grinding out for some gold and trying to get my third, my first third ascension of Michael who has proven to be very helpful now silly tips that i didn't realize earlier on is what the roles of each character actually plays so the dps the support the converter and the detonator so what i've realized recently you know and better late than never because you know this might actually help somebody so with the converter they actually help you make more towels so as you can see right there so i've got a yellow converter i've got two yellow converters and i've got a full thunder team which means that my team can get more turn and get more uh, opportunity to get their skills out and i've got one sniper which means she it's very odd and i think i've got two detonator i need to double check michael's definitely a detonator it just basically means that they can move all over the map very freely now i mean after playing this game for some weeks now it took me a while to actually realize that like i should have just read from the beginning it would have probably made the gameplay a little bit more easier and i would have probably saved my resource so Knowing that now, I think definitely good to have at least one converter if you're making a pure team. So like for example, I've got a, I've got a Michael at the moment, so it just makes sense to have at least one converter that can be changing the tiles to yellow so that Michael can be getting as much turn as possible and also obviously put in the commander in first place as the lead would guarantee that you always get the skills out so kaboom kaboom boom boom but the gameplay has been very free play friendly it's not been crazy like in your face trying to take money no vip system and it's just been very fun it's been really really fun just it's been a breath of fresh air actually and see the artwork the storyline they've really gone and taken time to try to give you the best gaming experience apart from the little a cup of the copyright stuff i think these guys are really onto something they're really onto something there should be a new event starting out soon with what's this girl's name Ishiaro, something like that. So that one should be interesting. And it's been very nice in terms of resources as well. Do you know you get enough what do they call it in this game? Lumber, something like that. So you can see that's a converter. So she's converted the towels. She opens up. Is it Beverly Burley? Is her name? I can't even check it. I can't check why that water battle system is on. Um so she converts and allows you to just get the turns out get the turns out if you ever do get Raf, Raf is actually a better leader 
simply because she can literally attack from anywhere. Like, as long as, yep, see like that. So as long as she connects, she can literally just attack from anywhere. Like, you don't even need to be near the target. She'll just get those two spikes out in the air. Kaboom! <laughs> Give you that slap in the face, boy. You talking to me? You talking to me, son? You talking to me? Um... So yeah, that that one is that one is a uh, she she is actually really good. So like I said, I'm just trying to put the teams together to face the last final boss. Uh, how to do reroll in this game? I was, I didn't really put great effort into rerolling just because you actually get decent units because of how much free like I'll say lumber stones or diamonds or gems or whatever you want to call them that you get just uh, by going through the storyline alone so you actually get quite a lot of stuff so i'm not really a big fan of re-rolling but you can re-roll and you can try and get some good units so yeah beverly and unimat are my two converters i should actually use a ela um i find out using elas for boss fights actually helps a lot simply because of the some of them have area of effect, AOE, and it just hits like a ton of brick. So having an ELA on a boss fights is actually very good. I don't usually use it for any other stuff. Oh, and one key thing that I realized that, you know, I made a mistake early on. Even if you just clear the story with one star, it's better to just use all of your units than using a friend's unit unless you're like super 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 stuck then y'all definitely advise use a friend's unit the reason being as you progress in the game naturally you will get stronger so when you come back and you try to get three stars on the stage if you would use your friends to pass that stage or you used you know the support of somebody you can't auto that stage which makes trying to go back and farm for three stars just long and tedious so that was actually a real um good thing to actually clock i think i clocked that on maybe chapter five so i went a whole five chapters for, yeah first five chapters just using friends when i can so when i actually my unit started getting strong and getting decent it was a bit difficult i had to then double clear it and let me see let me show you so if you look and all cleared number two all cleared and so on and so oh, no way <laughs> who is this jk1 air where are you where are you? Ooh, 312, what's going on? Uh, remaining round, six, six or more round. So you see, I can actually alter this because I've cleared it myself. Um, but what I like to do, I actually just like to start it and then alter it in the match. So yeah, I took it, ooh, 200K, we got that. Then we've got to get these from the potion and what? So yeah, what do I mean? So detonator, as you can see there, she literally moves around. Uh, we've got sniper, enters into a state, rough chain combo deals damage to the nearest two enemies for two rounds, and that's like anywhere on the map. So she is absolutely crazy. Another detonator, um, she literally she just goes crazy uh she just goes crazy she's got like a massive radius of attack and she just kills them all kills them all beverly convert four nearest red tiles to yellow you need that you need that you need that and this one is she's actually quite decent very good just because of this skills throws a can throws a can at any selected tile changing the tile to yellow lightning crystal meteoric crystal bandage attack or 
the fence is randomly generated on the tile so it's like a random buff uh what else we got here what we got here I've got quite a lot of stuff actually let me see what do we have here and then i got charion i got sharona cereal so this is actually a good combo uh Sariel, Sariel converter and sharona obviously just straight up like doppy you know so yeah literally you might what you want to do you want to just get your one six star one five star or one six or one six star one six star one converter and one sniper that just work together and you just literally rip through the team let's give Roth some power because she is deserves it she deserves it man she's been working hard putting in the work in the gym in the gym man yeah, it's not even worth it man. it's not even worth it man it's not even worth it so she is ascension 2 ascension 3 on the way so yeah look at that 210 what we got what we got for Michael was Michael's attack on 244 2106 204 and then they're not really attackers they're just kind of background let's get this three stars yo let's get this three stars so because I cleared it earlier with at some point with myself without no support I can just press auto now obviously the guys are stronger they come out here and it's just curtains pow finish them literally it's just curtains like it's just it's just bullying at this stage man like it's never fair no more like this is ridiculous man look at that let me just change this leader to rough so let's see if she does it. Let's see if she does it. Ooh, Michael. It's curtains, bro. Look at that. Get some yellows up in there. So everybody gets their skills. Everybody gets their skills. Look at that. Everybody at the body. Everybody at the body. Ooh, ooh. Damn, bro. Didn't I do it like that, man? You didn't have to do him like that. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. Look at that. So, she's just going to be zap, zap, zap. Everybody can get it. Nobody's above getting it. Everybody can get it, man. Y'all can all get it, man. Let's call it that reward. Look at that. Love seat. Uh, this is actually good for also building up the the ratings in your airship. Everybody of the party, everybody of the party, everybody of the party. Do -do 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 -do. So yeah, last episode, uh, eighteen eight four. I think I've like died like so many times trying this stage. So yeah, I'm gonna keep giving the boys some boost, and um, let's see where should we place this. So the mood points. That's it. Mood points. So obviously you're getting your three stars up, get you some of that mood points. Let's see where should we place the sofa. Let's place it right there. Let's put that love seat right there. Look at that. Love to see it, man. Oh. Almost done. Almost done now. Almost at that four five. Four fizzy. Yeah. So yeah, that's that. Right now I'm grinding, grinding, grinding. Living up the guys. Once I get to a stage where I think I'm strong enough, I might make a video for 8.14 and see how that goes. But yeah, 
first video alchemy stars hopefully be able to make more videos coming forward so yeah this is this is i think we're gonna have the event for uh in a few days time Eero, Eero, Eero. i really like the i just like her artwork especially the dragon in the background like she dope man so she is a is she a converter possibly she can actually flip my team I've got, off. I've got like a ton of teams, so she can actually fit. Uh, convert any two chosen tiles to enhanced green tiles and deals 200 damage to her. Damn, that's broken. That's crazy. You don't realize how crazy that is. The fact that she can choose the tiles that she wants to convert, like you can literally set yourself up for a nice combo. Yeah, that is that is crazy, yo. Looking forward to seeing her in action.